How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution video. And man, this game is just getting better and better and better. First off, we have some new gameplay from, you know, Frontier themselves, which they've uploaded to their channel. I'm going to show that here in just a few minutes. But the main thing is, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, the Indominus Rex. It is 100% guaranteed and confirmed. There is a little snippet of a video that the Gaming Beaver um, was able to upload, and it kind of confirms it. Now, the thing is, a lot of these YouTubers were offered to go to um, L.A., and sit down with some of these developers and actually play like 45 minutes of the game raw uploaded footage so if I can you know snip a few of these scenes out of here just to give you a little bit of context for this I most certainly will if it gives me a bunch of you know copyright strikes I have to deal with I might have to you know edit a few out it might take me a day to get this uploaded so if it is a day or so delayed that's probably the reason and I apologize for that but yeah so it is 100% guaranteed and this little snippet of um, of audio and gameplay and video is exactly what you need to guarantee this and I will show it to you right now. So these are obviously for the bigger dinosaurs. Like Indominus Rex. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> say nothing. Nope, can't say anything. <laughs> but we can speculate. So Now what does this mean? This can mean that there are other things out there, like um for example an Ultimasaurus. Maybe that's an unlockable. Because I was saying uh, before that I think that it might be a kind of like a hodgepodge of you take this dinosaur you take this dinosaur and it spits out a hybrid well the hybrid system is going to be story story based is what it seems like and you know like the indoraptor and some other dinosaurs spinosaurus and stuff like that it's just going to let you unlock it and that's the hybrid you're going to be able to have you have to unlock certain hybrids as you go so you really can't just kind of like make your own hybrids but that's okay that's okay there's only a uh, certain kinds of hybrids out there anyway Indoraptor being one of them. I'm so freaking excited, dudes. So go ahead and like and subscribe. Subscribe, especially if this is your first time to the channel. And like just because you're a cool dude who likes dinosaurs like me. Duh. So, anyway. Yeah. So, I can't wait for this game to come out. It, it's it's insane. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time with this rant over the Indominus Rex. So, you have the confirmation. It's not just a clickbait. This is 100% uh, guaranteed. You can just tell by the way this guy was just like, eh, you know, eh, I can't really say, but yeah, Indoor Raptor's coming, boys. Hold on to your hats, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let me go ahead and just play a little bit of this gameplay for you guys. That way, you guys get a, you know, just like a feel, just like a touch of um, what this game is going to have to offer. And of course, every huge YouTuber out there, from B Dubs to Silverette, who don't even do much dinosaur content, to people like. Uh, to people like Gaming Beaver and so yeah you guys go ahead and check this out I'll put a couple links in the description I'm sure you guys know who these people are anyway right so yeah that is what it is I hope you guys liked I hope you guys enjoyed uh I'll let you watch this gameplay for a little while so go ahead and like I said subscribe and smack that like on your way out of here and uh don't forget I appreciate you guys dearly peace focus just on the dinosaurs or use fossil uh, dig finds for uh, you know, short-term financial gain. And one part of the game that we're really focused on is not just making sure that the dinosaurs are the best dinosaurs you've ever seen, but the environments that they inhabit are amazing as well. So we put a lot of care into the building systems as well as the islands themselves. So each island has a lot of um, work and attention being done to make sure it looks amazing and as it can be, and we put work into a weather system as well. So as you're playing through the game, there's different weather events that might happen, so things like light rain or heavy rain. Some of the later islands have more extreme weather events, so um, there's a lot for you to do there. These things aren't just aesthetics things, though. The, the tropical storms that might hit you later on have a gameplay aspect. They might come and knock your fences out. They might come and take out your power station. So there's, there's things for you to be worrying about as you're managing not just these, these dangerous dinosaurs in your facility, but things that might cause them to escape. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. OK, cool. So my uh, fossil was extracted, and that meant I've got uh, enough of a Triceratops genome to incubate a Triceratops dinosaur egg. So if I go to my hammer creation lab, I can see all the available genomes I have. Uh, I've only got a few here. Obviously, this is just the start of the game. Um, but one of those is my newly available Triceratops. So I'm going to incubate that right now for this mission. So. This is going to be my herbivore enclosure. I've got two big herbivores here. I've got another one on the way. 
So I've got to make sure that this Ceratosaurus is not around when, uh, when all those herbivores are roaming, because uh, yeah, he's quite a dangerous animal. So in order to move him to my new enclosure, I'm going to head to my ACU center. And this is where I can give commands to my ACU chopper teams. So if I head over here and click on the Ceratosaurus, they will start flying off and they will try and tranquilize him so that he can be safely transported. Now, a really, really nice element of Jurassic World Evolution is that although I can manage these uh, vehicles from far, um, I can also click on them if I want to and take direct control. So I can, I can interject whenever I've asked them to do something and try and do it myself. Um, and since on, on PC we've kind of designed the game to work seamlessly with controller and with uh, keyboard and mouse, so I can just switch to the gamepad and all the menus and all the interfaces and all the controls are going to work just as well. Like immediately as well, there's no, oh, yeah, there's yeah. actually no switch there at all, yeah. You can do it, Andy. Uh, no pressure. Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we really wanted the dinosaurs to behave and move in realistic ways, it's just the way they look and the way they move, the way they fall when you, you tranquilize them. Um, I feel a little good. bit sorry for him now. Her, sorry. her. I do apologize. Yeah, All hers. All right, well, she's safely tran uh, tranquilized. Now I need to transport. So transportation is also now at the ACU center. Uh, now, a really quick way to go between buildings is to switch to the schematic view, the map of the island. Uh, and this shows me the, the whole island area I've got. And I can really quickly see my dinosaurs, my vehicles, state of my buildings. It's really, really useful for quickly accessing buildings. Um, and here I'm going to get in touch with the transport team and ask them to transport this Ceratosaurus from its current enclosure into the new one that I built. And that poor goat that you, you created earlier doesn't know what's coming. It might be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might be fine. It might be fine. You can't assume that the Ceratosaurus is going to go over it. Might out outlive. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Good hider. There she goes. Can you, can you name, name the dinosaurs as well? Yeah, you can name uh, the buildings in the game and the dinosaurs themselves if you want. If you just want to have that personal connection with the, with the animals. Um, I'm not sure why you'd want to get a personal connection with a carnivore, but the option's there for you. She's still there, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, she's on her way. So now I can safely release my new triceratops into the herbivore enclosure. Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment, making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. And another part of the game that we're really excited about is the opportunity to a Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. He's uh, reprising his role of Dr. Ian Malcolm, and he's throughout the game. Yeah, he's there as a narrator, as like a voice of conscience. You're going to be making some decisions in the game as to which division you're pursuing the missions for, and there's going to be some consequence to that. And he's there just to remind you that there's a, these dinosaurs should never have been brought back. It's been a mistake from, from day one, and that there's going to be a consequence of some of these decisions. And you just can't keep some things like that in your enclosed and they will always find a way to escape or something will find a way to just go wrong and he's always there just to just to keep reminding you of that fact it's, it's been it's just such an amazing thing to, as a developer to, to work with someone like him in, a, in, in one of our games cool all right well this next stage of the mission is all about uh, as the head of science said uh, dinosaur welfare so it wants me to build a ranger station so i need to make a bit of space here because my uh, my island is, oh, 
just uh, <laughs> adding less space. Adding, adding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what you need to do before you build, before, when you start expanding your park, you need to kind of clear the ground so that you've got space to build on. So I'm just clearing some forestry here. And this is costing you money to do so. This is well. costing me money. So I've got, to, I've got to build up the funds before I can really expand and make a, a huge, huge island park. Um, so yeah, you might need to flatten the terrain as well. If it's... 